Welcome in our factory and I will show you how to do maintenance of Ignis Plus burner. Before any maintenance work, I recommend you to use maintenance manual. I will show you how to change hose or connector. I will start with connector. You can see there is blue ever seal and uh, if you need to change just the connector you clean this treating and uh, when when it's clean the treating you use teflon tape and wrap it on the treating Now I assemble it together and finish it with torque wrench. And now I will show you how to change all hose. I lose the hose. This is new hose and uh, I put new bonded seal and the seating will be secured by Loctite. The seating in manifold blocks needs to be clean, so I use pressure air. I can start to tight the hose back. and tight with torque wrench. Now it's finished and you have to do leak test. Remove frame by unscrewing by these four bolts. The bolts are unscrewed and now I can remove the gimbal top. Now I will assemble burner frame with burner together. First of all, I will lubricate this tube. The gimbal top is secured with uh, bolts which are glued with Loctite. Tighten in cross and finish with torque wrench. Now the frame is assembled together with burner. You can see this gimbal is Giro gimbal. Here you can see different types of gimbals. This one is older version for Ignis. You can see all parts which are inside. We have different size of washers for setup rigidity. So the flat washer, spring washer, next flat washer and this pad. This second type of gimbals is newer version and you can set up the rigidity only with tightening of this bolt. I will show you on this half uh, Ignis Plus. So I will lose the bolt, you can see it's moving easily. I tight it a little bit more. And now it's quite high rigidity. I will start with uh, disassembling the handle by unscrewing four bolts. Now I lose this bolt. Now I remove the retaining ring and now I pull out the lever pin. Take out the washers. 
lose this board and now I can lose the valve body from the pilot light and uh, from the mine blast. Oh. Now I can remove the valve with all parts. You can see the difference between these walls. In start I will clean the o-ring and streeting. Check this o-ring. The same I will do on the second valve body. Check the o-rings and remove from the stem. You can see grey vaseline on these uh, stems. Some cases you can see the white vaseline, which is uh, Teflon vaseline. Now I clean the stem, cut the O-rings and change them. Now I put on the new O-rings. The same on the pilot light stand. So the O-rings are on the stems. And now I will lubricate it with grey vaseline but you can use the teflon vaseline as well fill up the groove with vaseline in this part you can see the flat ceiling in this area and here just check if there isn't any dirt or something else. And now we can assemble together back. Lubricate the O-rings and three thing. So now the wells are ready to be assembled back. I will use the pressed air to clean the holes. There are saddles and next part which has to be checked. And now I can put back the wells. Now I start to tight it and finish it with torque wrench. In the next step we put back the washers, screw back the board, put back this and we can put back the levers. Check the movement of the lever, it should be like this. Pilot light lever will be secured by this bolt and weight the Loctite. Finish with torque wrench and check the moving of the lever. So the valves are finished and now I put back the handle. Now the pilot valve and mine blast valve are finished, but you should uh, do the leak test. I will show you how to remove the manifold block from the burner units. 
On the start, I remove the handle. Now I tilt the burner and I will lose the central bolt in the middle. Now the four bolts. Now I have to remove the super tube. And now it's possible to remove the manifold block. I will show you how to do maintenance on the pilot light and pressure reducer. First, I lose this chamber. There is spring, piston with o-ring. There is this jet, a ring for regulating of the flame. And now I lose this two part. You can see the filter. This one, it's quite clean. But I recommend to use new one. Lose this jet. Now I will clean all parts. Check the o-ring on the piston. Check and clean this jet. Check the hole. Check the hole inside this jet. Now everything is clean and ready to be assembled together. I will start with the new filter, screw back this jet, I put back the regulating ring, I recommend that the ring cover almost half of the hole. Now I lubricate the o-ring with Teflon Vaseline, put back to the chamber, lubricate the surface on the piston, carefully put back the piston on the o-ring, check it if the seat all right, and lubricate the o-ring on the piston. This part is ready to be assembled back. On the another side, I put back the jet. Tight a little bit this part. And I can put back all this assemble with the spring. Finish with torque wrench. And now I can turn with this uh, pilot light head and set up the position of this board on the middle of the manifold block and against the needle. And now the pressure reducer is finished. You can have burner unit with one horse or with the two holes. This hose is for a liquid phase of the fuel and this one is for the vapor phase. In case with uh, one hose, we have these parts inside. So this part you can see here, under this plug it's bonded seal. This filter, it's uh, screwed inside and in pressure reducer there is this piston with uh, the top ceiling. In the case with uh, two hoses in the burner unit, instead plug there is a hose with bonded seal. Instead this filter there is this plug 
the difference between pistons you can see on the top because there is top ceiling and this piston it's without ceiling so now i put back the manifold block the manifold block is uh, inside the cans and now i lubricate the threading with vaseline screw it to the manifold block now i screw the four bolts i recommend to tie the bolts in the cross and the last step is screw the central bolt and finish it with torque wrench now the manifold block is inside the can and now i can assemble handle there are four screws finish tightening and now the assembling manifold block is done condensation from the coils you can remove by super tube but uh, you have to set up it in correct position the correct position you can see on the super tube the end of the super tube should be on the edge of the hole Removing PO signator starting with uh, losing bolt on this side. Now I will press the PO piezo unator from this side and uh, if it is necessary try to lubricate the surface on the bottom of the piezo unator. If the piezo unator doesn't work properly you have to change it for a new one or try to clean this part because the sparkling sometimes works here so clean it properly you can see the sparkling so I can put it back the needle is towards the pilot light head and finish it with tightening of the secure bolt And now the burner is safe to use and you can enjoy your flight.